Hi gang, this is a short fun video showing how I fixed my broken homemade high voltage power supply. Let's start with when it broke. I just happened to have it on video. It was while I was experimenting with ion propulsion with my Star Trek Enterprise model. After recording all the stuff you saw in the video about that, I hyper insulated the nacelles. It's going backwards because that added insulation is leaking in the right places to cause ion wind in that direction. That also allowed a large buildup of charge at both ends. And whenever the charge was too much, it arced. Exactly like a capacitor breaking down. And after a few of those, my power supply stopped working. So I open it up. I start with a visual inspection, looking for any broken wires or discolorations. But I don't see any. The last component at the output is this tripler, or Cockroft Walton voltage multiplier. To see if it's the problem, I simply remove it from the circuit. Without the tripler, the last component is now this flyback transformer. The output of the flyback transformer should be an arc. So I set it up to test it. I put a grounded wire with some resistors at the flyback's output. I turn on the power supply and turn up the voltage. At some point I should be able to pull the ground wire away and see an arc expanding in the gap between the wire and the output. But I get nothing. That was good though. It means the problem isn't likely with the tripler, since it's not even connected. The problem could be with the flyback transformer, but it could also be with other components that are easier to check first. So I next start measuring the resistance of these two resistors. Often you have to remove them from the circuit to test them, but this bottom one shows the correct resistance without removing it. The top one however should have shown 220 ohms, and instead it shows 0.3 ohms, but it's still connected to the circuit and the reason could be that I'm measuring the resistance of a different path around the resistor. So I desolder it from the circuit. Measuring the resistance this time, I see it's 220 ohms. So it's okay. I solder it back in place. Next, I think about testing this capacitor. But then I remember that the transistors are simply bolted into their sockets, and unbolting them is easier than desoldering the capacitor. So I unbolt the first transistor, and test it. It's fine. So I put it back. I then unbolt the second transistor and test it. And yay, it's shorted inside. If there's only one broken component, then this is it. So I bolt in a new transistor. I put the power supply back together, connect it back up, and sure enough, it works. I can continue having more fun. I'm dangerous again. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more videos like this. That includes the one where I demonstrate ion propulsion with the Star Trek Enterprise model. Another where I show step by step how I made this high voltage power supply. And one on how to test transistors to see if they're good. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. Or give a thumbs up or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.